Hey guys, my name is Senior J, and today we will be talking about Figma plugins. In today's video, I'm going to explain what Figma is basically, what Figma plugins are, and I will show you examples of the most popular plugins at the moment. Now, before I start this video, I just want to give a special shout out to all the guys at HNG. Thank you guys so much for providing us interns with this platform. Really appreciate it. Anyway, without any further ado, let's get into the video. So Figma is a cloud-based design tool similar to Sketch in functionality, but with a difference in that Figma is better for collaboration. A Figma plugin is basically additional software that you can install into the application to help improve your efficiency. Now, with all that out of the way, let's get into the fun stuff. So, I will create a frame here, and the first plugin I'm going to show you guys is called AutoFlow. And now, what this plugin does is simply create a line between two objects, and you would normally do this when you know indicating user flow. And what we're going to do this is quite simple. Now, what we're going to do is open plugins, click on auto flow, and by clicking on both of these screens, you can now see an arrow between them. Now, this would have taken time, maybe not, I don't know, but it sure was easy for me, and this plugin is now useful. <laughs> okay, now, the next plugin I want to show you guys is Content Reel. And this is actually very useful and a time saver when it comes to, you know, just creating mock-up designs and not having to think about what you're actually putting in there. So let's say we want to write a name. Content Reel will just generate random names that you can just select and put. And maybe it's not a name, maybe it's a number, an address, a picture. Content Reel has got your back. And this will definitely save you time. I can attest to that. Well, it saves me time. Now, the third plugin today is Mapsicle. And what Mapsicle does is displays a map on your design, you know, and the reason why this is useful is you don't have to leave the application. I mean, as you can see, here we are in Lagos, and I'm just, you know, zooming in, trying to be particular, and voila, it's there. Very quick, very snazzy, very useful. The final plugin of today is Unsplash, and this is by far my favorite plugin right now because I use Unsplash all the time, and it's super useful. So anyone who uses Unsplash will definitely love this, and these are just four of the most popular plugins right now. So if you learned anything from this video, I would really appreciate a thumbs up, subscribe if you loved it, and I will see you guys in the next one.